All right, guys, I'm going to make a video demonstration for the yoke for the bodice. Um, this is a file I uploaded and gave you guys. You're welcome to use your own sloper that you've already drafted. This one's like a little messy, so we should probably go ahead and clean it up. Um, real quick, so I'm just going to go file, save as, because I don't want to accidentally save over my sloper file. So if you're using your own, you might want to do that. I'll call it the yoke notebook sample. I don't want to save that. I'll put that in 109 notebook samples, trying to stay organized, right? Okay, there we are. And then right off the bat, I think I'm going to delete these little pieces here. I definitely don't believe I need them. Um, okay, I'm just going to leave the skirt. I mean, I guess I could leave the sleeves. It is sleeveless. Maybe I should get rid of it so it's sleeveless, like the little picture. I, do, I don't know, you guys. It doesn't even matter. I'm, like, wasting time right now. Okay. So let's look at this notebook sample. You should have your book open to page 145. Um, we are going to do a slash line here at the yoke area and give her a front yoke. And then we're actually going to add gathers at the bottom half of the bodice. So we're not sewing up a dart, but it is going to be a little bit fuller. It's a bigger fit. So this is not going to fit the same way as the sloper fits. It's going to be a little baggy, a little blue sun, if you will. Um, yeah. So I'm looking at the instructions. Maybe I should pull them up so you guys can follow along with me. Dun, 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 dun. So this is the image we're going for right here. See how we got some gathering at the top where the yoke is? No gathering on the actual yoke, but the lower bottom piece, there's gathering. And then there's blue sant too when she tucks it in. It's a little bit full. And the book has you start with the two dart um, sloper. I just gave you one dart. You can always change it to two darts, but let's just look what's happening. First, they are drawing a slash line and then they're gonna cut it apart and that's gonna be the yoke. And before they cut it apart, they put some notches. And I would like us to do notches as well um, so that when we go sew it up, we know how much to gather it. So the yoke's pretty easy. Well, I'll probably just draw an internal line. I'll probably right click and say like, you know, separate or cut, cut and sew. And then we have our yokes and then then we manipulate this piece. So they are putting a slash line and closing the side dart, and then they just leave this bottom dart open so that it's baggier and fuller. And they throw in some notches. These notches don't actually match up to anything else. It's just kind of showing where to gather, like a little gathering area. I guess it's noting that, hey, it's gonna be a little bit bigger right there. Um, so like I said, they just leave that bottom dart open so it's baggy and then they close the side dart and kind of move it up to the top so we should have basically two darts one at the top one at the bottom that we're leaving open so that it causes gathers and it's only one page that's really it that's all we're doing um i see there's they put like a button flacking and stuff we don't really need to do that here okay so let's see if i can do that so i think i'm going to switch to the 2d window maybe i'll make this a little bit bigger and okay, let's see here. Um, you know what I could do is just slash and spread straight up. You know, let's do my yoke line first, right? I should probably do that first. So, oh gosh, is this easier to just work on the half scale? I wonder, I might, I don't know why it helps me work on the half scale. So I know it is halved right now, but I'm just gonna go ahead and um, remove my linked editing. And then I kind of just want to delete it and then I can add it back later. Okay. So my yoke line, um, I think I do want it to be yeah, perpendicular from the center front line. And that's what the book does too. So I can click this line. Maybe I should add a point. Let's do that. Let's add a point. And they put their point two and a half inches below center front. So, okay, I'm going to right click and just manually type in 2.5. Cool. Now that I have that point, I can hit the letter Z, which gives me this little tool here. And I can select that point, right click, and we can say add a perpendicular internal line. So it's perpendicular from the Y axis is what we want because we want it to go across. Okay. Yeah, I did it right. It took me a while to learn that. 
Um, and yeah, extend it. It looks good. 90 degree angle. That's what the book marks. If you see like the little squared line in the book, that means 90 degrees. Cool. Okay. That looks good. Um, and then as far as putting in our notches, I guess we can do that right now. Let's see here. Okay. I've never done notches this way where it's on two. Why don't I just go here? Okay, and then can I also do it to the other top or no? Okay, so I'm going to click this little, what happens if I pick you? Oh, should I add a point to the notch? My point, okay. Because you know what, it's good that point's there because I might need to go notch the yoke when they're cut and separate, maybe. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut off my yoke. Let's see if this is gonna happen for me. Right click, cut and sew. Cool. Yeah, okay, so the notches are actually on both of them. Nice, that's, thank you Chloe, that makes everything nice and easy. Awesome, so my yoke is really complete. It's ready to be sewn. Um, but let's go ahead, now we need to add gathering here. So. Um, so we have all the fullness right now in this dart. We're just going to move about half of it up here and, and basically just not sew it shut. So let's see here. Um, I'm going to right click here and I guess rotate dart. And I want it to go here. Okay, I don't know why it went over there, but that's fine. Oh, probably because it's pointing that way. Um, I guess the center point is where our bust is, which is probably right here. We should probably have our bust mark now that I'm like thinking about this. Okay, and click on the side to rotate this side. And about halfway, so I guess like right here. You know what? I kind of wish I rotated the other side so that this stays straight up. Okay, command Z. Okay, let's try that again. Right click, rotate dart. We want it up to this line. I'm going for the bust area, kind of eyeballing it. I'm going to click this side. Yeah. And I'll bring it right there. It's about halfway. And hmm, does this matter? I guess I'll just bring it all the way down. Okay, cool. So I guess what we could do is just add a notch here and one over here just because the book has it. I don't really know if it's that important. And then the other thing is these are not going to be darts. They're going to be gathered fabric. So I'm just going to delete that dart point. How do you feel about that, Chloe? There it goes. Cool. Um, maybe we round these off a little. So I'm going to right click, convert to curve. Maybe you as well. Makes it a little bit smoother. So I'm just right clicking here and changing it to a curve point. Yeah, I think that's it. So now let's go ahead and sew this up. So this should already be sewn together. I'm going to pull out my sewing machine tools. Yeah, it already knows to sew all this together. I wonder how it's going to react since, you know, this is bigger now. Oh, we have this purple. Oh, I bet the purple is going to do weird stuff because I think the purple was sewing the dart closed. So I'm going to, I'm probably going to have to re-sew this part together. So you know what? Hmm. Okay, so here's my dart. So the green can stay sewn as normal. I guess we don't really want gathering right there. Um, and then, yeah, this orange can stay normal too because that's in between the notches. This is kind of weird. I'm just going to redo this part because it's kind of strange. So goodbye blue. And then I'm going to use, what is it, the free sewing tool. And I'll click from here. Oh, is that going to work for me? Mm -hmm. Let me zoom in. Oh, I'm on the wrong tool. I thought I clicked it. So sorry. Okay, so clicking all the way here to here. And we're going to click. See that blue line? That was the same length as down there, but we don't want the same length because we want to gather. So I'm going to stop right there. Okay, and then you know what? Maybe I do that with the skirt as well. Since we have the skirt, might as well just use it so it's like it's tucking it in or something. So same deal. Let's see. What is getting sewn to what? Um... Okay, I might just have to delete a bunch of this and just redo it. Sometimes it's just easier, I think. Okay, so let's do our sew tool and clicking to the notch. And then this, wherever that blue dot is, perfect. 
And then I'm going to click from here to here and do that from here just to the blue dots. It's the same. And then the rest I'm combining. You know what? There is something else. I don't know. I think this is where the dart used to be. I'm going to delete that. Okay. So now this is kind of hard because I'm combining these two things. All right. Let's just see how this goes. I guess I'm going to click from here to here. And I'm going to go about halfway. And then I'm going to click here to here. And go there. Okay. Let's. Oh, okay. You know what I need to do is I need to unfold my pattern. Okay. So I'm going to right click and unfold symmetric editing. All right. Thanks. And then unfold with editing. Okay. Okay. Let's see what this is going to look like. So let's bring back. Oh. My double screen. Oh my, what just happened? Um, Chloe, are you still alive? Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, double screen. Aha. And download or simulate. Sorry. All right. Oh no, I just, why do I always do that? Um, to pan, I'm such an illustrator girl. I always go to spacebar, but here spacebar means simulate. So I just I train myself to an option. Okay, let's see here. All right, well, there it is. Yeah, and we got a yoke. We got some gathering. Maybe it's not the prettiest right now. Hold on. I'm gonna pull it a little. Again, you know, I could set my fabric. I can do some more stuff to make it look prettier in Chloe, but we're really not focusing on that. With this class, we're kind of focusing on drafting the pattern, but um, maybe we are getting ready to start um, preparing it for like render so that it's a little bit more polished looking. Hold on, maybe I pulled down. It's just so slightly gathered. Okay, cool. That's it. <laughs> Let me know if you guys have questions, okay?